everybody we're back for another collection video and today I'm going to be doing my highlighters so I'm going to try and run through these as quickly as possible I don't have a whole bunch um, but I do really um, have a nice selection but I do feel like I have an opinion about all of the highlighters in my collection and it's a relatively good collect uh, opinion I'm not gonna just keep highlighters around that I don't like so without further um, rambling on my part let's get into it so first off I want to talk about the elf baked highlighters I do have three of them and they are all beautiful these are three dollars the first one is called moonlit pearls it looks like this and I'm gonna be swatching all of these so beautiful these can be applied wet or dry I do prefer to use them dry just because they are extremely intense. So just a beautiful beige champagne. This one is called this one is called Blush Gems. And these have a relatively soft texture. That's Blush Gems. So definitely more on the rose gold side. And then this one actually came broke, but I still have enough in here to use, so I definitely do use it. And this is called Pink Diamonds. And that's what that looks like. So definitely, that one is probably the least pigmented out of all three, but they are still really beautiful. Now I do have two more uh, e.l.f. highlighters. These are actually considered part of the Studio Blush line, but these are definitely highlighters. And the first one, these are also $3, is called Giddy Gold, which is just a straight up gold highlighter. Now these feel a little bit more chunky to the touch. Um, this one is not the greatest pigmentation. I do use this one occasionally, but as a blush topper over a warmer blush. And then this one is called Gotta Glow, and this is supposed to be a um, dupe for Nars's Albatross. I can't speak to that as I do not have Nars's Albatross, but the texture on this one is definitely a lot smoother. And it's, again, it's still gonna be a little bit chunky, but this is gonna be one of those kind of very subtle lit from within almost finishing powders brightening powders more than a highlight but those are considered highlights next let's get into some wet and wild i do have all three of the geometric highlighting powders these are from the spring collection of last year and the first one i have is called where the dreamers go these are just really really beautiful to look at this was definitely my favorite one now these are definitely more um subtle highlighters but they can be built up depending on how you apply them and how many layers. That one's just more of a kind of blue undertoned white highlighter. This one is called Desert Explorations and this is definitely more of kind of like a coppery, coppery rose. So again, very, very subtle. I do like these. I go through phases with highlighters and sometimes I like a very bold in your face highlighter and sometimes I want something a little bit more subtle and then this one is called desert explorations and this is definitely more of just a straight up gold so those are the geometric highlighting powder I also have both of the mega glow highlighting powders um, these came out limited edition over the summer I believe it was summer but they're now permanent which I think is fantastic because these are just stunning highlighters the first one I have is called Crown of My Canopy and the, the packaging is very sleek on these and the embossing is absolutely beautiful. Now Crown of My Canopy is a little bit deep for me but I do like to use it as a blush topper. It is just absolutely gorgeous, pigmented, gives that beautiful wet type of metallic sheen. And then this one was actually in my top five highlighters from Wet n Wild. This is called um, Precious Petals. And this one is, again, a little bit on the dark side for somebody who has very fair skin, but when you shear it out, it's so beautiful. And these are just a stunning product. I believe these are $4.99. Um, and again, you can get these. These are part of the permanent collection now, and you can get them on the website. I haven't seen them in stores, but I know they are on the website because Wet n Wild brought them back back because people love them so much so absolutely gorgeous highlighters next let's talk about Becca I do have two highlighters from Becca I actually have um, opal which I got in a little sample set and it's broken I'm so sad I don't even want to repress it because the powder is so beautiful and so fine I don't want to mess it up um, not that it isn't already messed up but that's okay I can still use it but this is a beautiful um, just kind of golden highlight absolutely stunning I do want to get this one in full size I think it's just so beautiful and the finish on the skin is stunning 
And then I do have the full size in Moonstone. And the, the texture on these is just absolutely, it's, it's so smooth and buttery. Now Moonstone I find is a little bit more powdery and it's not quite as, you don't get that wet metallic sheen like you do with Opal, but it's still a beautiful, just I think sophisticated highlighter on the skin. So gorgeous. Opal's just intense. Speaking of intense highlighters, I do have two of the Makeup Revolution Vivid Bright, or sorry, Vivid Baked Highlighters. I have the one in Peach Light, and these I believe were $10. At, I got mine at Ulta, and do you see the duochrome in that? It's so pretty. I would consider this more of a, a light pink with a like purpley blue duochrome to it. Now the texture on this one is not doesn't feel very soft or buttery but when you apply it to the skin it's absolutely stunning and that's peach light and this one is golden lights and this one is the duochrome in this one is so beautiful it almost is like a green duochrome is how I would describe it in person but it's absolutely stunning the, the texture of this one is much softer much more buttery and this is an intense highlighter so that's peach light and golden lights I want to try more. There was another one. I can't remember what it was called, but there's a third one of these that I couldn't find. All right, let's move on to some more Wet n Wild. Now, this is an OG highlighter for me. This is actually my second one because I loved it so much when I first started my channel. I used this in every video, and this is the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Catwalk Pink. I This old packaging is, mine's kind of broken, but I love this highlighting powder. Some people complain that they feel like this is too glittery and chunky, um, but I don't feel that at all with this powder. I feel like it's very smooth and buttery, and it has just a beautiful kind of pinky, pinky golden highlight to it. And what I've been doing a lot lately is kind of concentrating my brush more in this area right here, and just getting a beautiful golden highlight. So I really like the Mega Glow Highlight in Catwalk Pink, and I actually bought, I actually have the new one just to compare, because I did want to compare it when it first came out. Now I do like that the pans are bigger. I do feel that like this one is even more soft than the original one. And again, I don't feel like these are chunky or glittery at all. These feel very soft, very smooth. I love the way they apply on the skin. This one I feel is gonna be a little bit lighter than the original one but that's probably just because you have the ability to pick up more of the lighter colors and again if you're just swatching the the lighter colors right here it's going to give you more of a pinky highlight so i really like this highlighter i don't know why it gets so much hate um, but i think it is a fantastic drugstore highlighter and one that you can definitely customize if you like doing that so you can definitely do a gradient highlighter with this one really good all right guys, this was also in my top five wet n wild favorite highlighters. This is Reserve Your Cabana. This is technically a bronzer. This is the wet n wild color icon bronzer. Um, but this one is definitely more of a highlighter. But this again is one of those highlighters. Do you see how janky mine is? It's so well loved. This is one of those really subtle, beautiful highlighters that is more of like a finishing powder. It's kind of like the effect of an ambient lighting powder. You can see it has a very, very subtle sheen to it. So when you put it on the skin, it's going to be just the most beautiful, subtle, kind of lit from within glow. So if you are somebody who likes a subtle highlight, this is so beautiful. It's so inexpensive. I believe it's $3 and it's gonna last you forever. If you um, compare it to the Becca, you're getting quite a bit more product. All right, guys, I should be really embarrassed to show you this one. This is the Maybelline Mineral Power Illuminator. I've had this for forever. Um, this is, I don't even know if you can still get this anymore, but this is a really fine, beautiful powder, and I haven't thrown it away yet because it still is a really just kind of pretty over-the-top highlighter. It does have some really fine micro shimmer in there, but I like it. Sometimes to just dust over a blush if I'm going for a more in-your-face look or just on top of a highlighter. So. so I do have a couple of products from MAC. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. This is beautiful. This is a cult classic for a reason. It's just a stunning bronzy gold highlight. All right, I guess more bronzy champagne. Absolutely love it. This can look a little intimidating. Um, 
for somebody who has fair skin but when you sheer it out it's so beautiful and I think it has enough of a pink undertone in it that it's very flattering to fairer skin tone and then this one I'm not even gonna lie I got for the packaging fun fact about Heather um, I literally want to be Jean-Luc Picard when I grow up like no really I'm 33 and I'm still waiting for it to happen but this is was from the recent Star Trek collection and I'm not gonna lie I did get this just for the packaging and the fact that it's just absolutely beautiful to look at it almost looks like a planet um, but so gorgeous and I wasn't really impressed with it at first when I swatched it I feel like it had almost a gritty overlayer um, on it but now that I've got down past that layer it's actually really really beautiful there is some very 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 fine glitter in it but it's nothing that is unattractive. It's just kind of a pinkier, pinkier version of um, soft and gentle. And I really like this. I've been using this a lot more recently. All right, guys, I do have one more MAC product that I forgot about. This is the um, from the Maleficent Collection. This is the Beauty Powder in Natural. And I kind of use this, again, as a subtle highlight or as a, sorry, that's blinding, as a subtle highlight or as a um, just all-over face powder. And, again, it's just one of those nice, brightening, very, very subtly brightening matte highlighters. So that's natural. All right, moving on. I do have one highlighter from Physician's Formula. This is the Happy Booster Glow and Mood Boosting Powder in Translucent. I really am starting to love Physician's Formula's powders. I just think they're great quality. This one is a beautiful powder, and again, I'm going to use this like I use my ambient um, lighting uh, pow powders or like my e.l.f. illuminating palette. I will use this as a very, very subtle highlight or I'll use it as a really beautiful all-over finishing powder um, when I just want to have a little bit more of a glow. So you can see it right there. So it's very, very subtle, but it's very beautiful. And again, the texture on this one is amazing. And another one off that I have is the Hard Candy. Um, this is the Baked Bronzer in Tiki. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Mary Luminizer. I don't own that one, but I love this one. First of all, for a baked product, the texture on this is unbelievable. And it's just an absolutely gorgeous kind of golden highlight on the skin. And again, I really like this for when I'm doing more bronzy looks. Such a pretty highlighter. All right, guys, so I do have two of these Ulta Illuminating Powders. These are $10 a piece. This one is in Yellow Diamond. And these were almost like too pigmented when I first got them. Um, these have a beautiful, almost cream-like texture to them. And they're so pigmented that there were they were unflattering on the skin and I finally figured out how I needed to use them and so now I just use them with a very very light fluffy brush that doesn't have a lot of density at all or I use it with a stippling brush and these are just beautiful this one is a white with a gold turn and that's yellow diamond and then this one is beautiful this is a pink this is pink diamond this is pink with a gold turn and the texture on these is just like I said just unbelievable So those are the Ulta Illuminating Powders. I do have one product from Clinique, and I actually got this on my last cruise. This is the Fresh Bloom All Over Color in number 11 Peony Blend. First off, the packaging is stunning. It's so pretty, and then again, it comes with a nice mirror. But then the embossing on this, it really reminds me of the Mega Glow Highlighting Powders. It's so beautiful. So this is an all over color, so you can use this as a blush or a highlight. You know, depending on what you know your skin tone is, I use this either or. This is such a beautiful product. It is smooth, it's buttery, it's just absolutely gorgeous on the skin. And again, it's another one of those beautiful, just very subtle highlights that I really like. All right, guys, of course I have some more Wet n Wild highlighters. I can't help it, I love them. Um, these are called the Wet n Wild um, Two Reflect Shimmer Palettes. This is from when they were collaborating with Fergie, so I'm not sure what the actual names are right now. This one is called um, Rose Golden Goddess. This one is definitely too deep for me to use as a highlighter, but it is a beautiful blush topper. That's Rose Golden Goddess. This one almost made that top five highlighter video from Wet n Wild. This is in Rose Champagne Glow, and again, the, the texture on these is beautiful. This one is just a stunning light pink champagne -y highlight so beautiful there's really no glitter in these it's just that gorgeous sheen 
but this one just got beat out by this one. This is the um, this is the Reflect Shimmer Palette, Two Reflect Shimmer Palette in Hollywood Boulevard. This one gets a lot of love from me. I talked about it in that palette, I mean, in that review of my top Wet n Wild highlighters. This one can seem very intimidating just looking at it in the pan, but if you are fair, this is a beautiful golden highlight. Again, the texture is amazing on all of these, and these are all under $5, and you get a crap ton of product. All right, I do have a couple more. I do have a couple more powder highlights before we move on to the creams and liquids. Um, this is a recent purchase. This is so. This is the Too Faced Candlelight Glow in Rosy Glow. I really like this highlight a lot. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I think it's one of those. It's not again. It's not the softest texture I have in any of my highlights, but it gives just a beautiful soft, I would say medium sheen to the skin. So it's not too subtle and it's not too intense, but it's very forgiving of any texture I have on my tops of my cheekbones. So I really like this one. I think it's gorgeous and I want to get the, the other one. This one has been a new obsession of mine. This is the um, Soap and Glory Super Luminizing Highlighting Powder in Glow All Out. And when I saw this, I was like, oh God, this is going to be more of a blush for me. But really, it is so pretty. It, this is just a beautiful, soft, peaky highlight. And it almost has a blue duochrome to it. It's going to be kind of hard to see there. You can see it a little bit. This is such a gorgeous product. I love the texture of this powder and I feel like it gives me just an airbrushed finish to the skin. It's so super pretty and it's like 15 bucks. So not bad for Ulta Sephora type products. And then finally, I want to talk about this little baby here. This is from a, an indie brand called Davina Cosmetics, and it's really cool. I think I paid like six bucks for this highlighter. Um, this is in the shade Nixie, but the way she does her highlighters is really awesome because you can buy them in different size pans. So you can start off with the little tiny pans like this just to see if you like it, so you're not paying for a bunch of product that you don't know if you'll like, all the way up to the big size pans for like 12 or 13 bucks. Um, this is an awesome awesome highlight it is so beautiful it shifts from a white to a pink to a green i want to go back and pick up a ton more of these i mean the the duochrome in that is so incredibly gorgeous these are soft these are hand pressed i really do like them plus her customer service is amazing i'm gonna link her channel i mean her um instagram or her website down below, one of the two. I'll link them down below, but she is always doing sales. In, um, customer service is amazing, and I'm really, really loving this highlight. It's very unique and beautiful. All right, guys, I only have a few cream highlighters, um, but they're ones that I really, really like. The first one is a $1 product. This is the e.l.f. All Over Stick in Persimmon. So you're supposed to use this on your eyes, on your cheeks, on your lips. You're supposed to be able to use this all over, but this is a beautiful, just pinky highlight. When I want a really intense highlight, I'll use one of these underneath and put a powder on top. This is the Maybelline Master Strobing Stick in Light. And I love the way this one blends into the skin. It's pretty much just a lighter sister to persimmon. And then this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Multi Stick in Marigold Round. And this also came out with the spring or with the summer collection, I believe. And again, just an even, even lighter, pinkier highlight. So you've got kind of your deep, medium, and light. So I really like all of those. All right, guys, so this is a new find. This is the Glowing Co Complexion Illuminating Cream from City Color. Um, this is supposed to instantly brighten and soothe skin highlights for a radiant finish. I really like this. It only comes in one shade, but you get one fluid ounce of product in here, and it is beautiful. And the way I like to do this is I like to mix this in with my foundation as I throw the cap around. Um, and it just creates a beautiful kind of luminous, see, luminous effect to the skin. Or I like to just dot it on the tops of my cheeks. So that is the glowing complexion illuminating cream from City Color, really beautiful. And then I do have three of the Skin Lights. I, this used to be my favorite product. When these came back out, I was so excited. Like when I was in senior in high school, freshman in college, I used these like crazy. There used to be like six shades. Um, I believe Natural Light was my go-to. It was like the one that came in the, in the white tube. I absolutely love these. So these are, again, I use them in the same way. I'll use them as um, just so, to mix them with my foundation or I will 
um, just dot them on top of my cheeks with a stippling brush. So this is the shade Bear Light. This is the shade Peach Light. I'm just going to shear them all out. And the texture of these is amazing. And this is the shade Pink Light. And guys, when I found out that these were going out of stock again, I went and bought backups of all of them. So you don't need much product at all, but they just shear out so beautifully on the skin. So that's um, Bear Light. This is Peach Light. And then this is Pink Light, which is definitely my favorite. So love all of those to mix in with a foundation or just to dot on the top of the cheeks. Guys, I totally forgot. I do have um, What's Up from Benefit. This is a little um, sample that I have. This is a beautiful kind of coppery golden highlight. I love using this when I'm on vacation and I'm going for a more bronze look. So it's just a little sample that I have. So I love that one too. All right, everybody, so this is just my highlighter collection. I hope this was interesting for you. I hope you, the swatches kind of helped. Let me know what your favorite highlighters are because I always love to talk to you guys and see what you think. You guys know I'm a creeper. But until then, guys, I hope you have an amazing day. Have a rocking week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.